the AS-90 howitzers of 19 Regiment Royal Artillery. Intimidating to look at, even more intimidating to listen to, and you certainly don't want to be anywhere near where their 155 millimeter shells are landing. Well, here is, you know, as we all know, that, that deterrent effect um, to Russia. Um, but having the ability to provide that, that close support artillery as and when the Estonian Brigade would require it. The AS-90 can fire three 155mm shells up to 15 miles in 10 seconds. And this gun line is just one part of Britain's Royal Artillery capability, which is providing a key part of NATO's defence in the region. The AS-90's firepower is as highly prized by the gunners as it's feared by the enemy. So the ability to hide away and stay on the move is key to operational security. We are, as obviously Ukraine's showing, um, quite a big asset. Everyone's looking for us. There's new systems out there that will track the shells leaving. Um, and as soon as they pinpoint that, they will, they don't care where it is, they'll take the whole grid square up to find us. But if the AS-90 packs a punch, the UK's multiple launch rocket system, the MLRS, can strike a knockout blow. You're looking at the multiple launch rocket system known as the MLRS. It's a depth fires defensive weapon. Uh, we can achieve ranges between 15 and 84 kilometres and we use it to fight the, the deep battle in support of the division. What's so good about um, the MLRS is uh, the accuracy of the weapon system. You can fire a missile and land it within four metres of the grid. This level of accuracy at long range has been a game changer in Ukraine. Talk may have moved on to tanks and fighter jets, but there's no doubt the UK's MLRS and the American equivalent, the HIMARS, continue to prove a key force multiplier for Kyiv and for NATO allies learning new lessons from this bitter conflict. Rosie Layden, Forces News, Estonia. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.